This is why I'm not leaving early. My shoes are frozen solid. I can't get my foot in them. It's 8 o'clock. It's actually after 8. I've been working at these for about 15 minutes. I need a fire or something. <laughs> I've managed to get them on, but there's no way I can tie them for a while. It's like wearing two ice cubes. Okay, let's see if I can capture what it's like to go fade. Bear with me. Sort of. I just came up the path, the one that looks scary on the map. Here's my north side. There's Lake Ann, and that's the canyon I go down. Here's my tracks. There's two socks. I ran down, that took me about 47 seconds. Finally the top of something after all this rain. Speaking of rain. They call these upslope conditions. The clouds come up and just break over the divide. And I'm in the rain shadow right now. Although I'm supposed to go up James Peak, which is somewhere in there, and then go about 10 miles on the divide, probably all in clouds. We'll see where this trail takes me. This is a climb up James Peak. I found a couple day hikers. It's up there, somewhere, quarter mile, 400 feet. 400 feet in elevation. Ultra runners, including David Horton. Here I am at Shadow Mountain Lake. Um, this is what the trail looks like. See, it's a nice verdant green. Then when you look up, there's all those dead lodgepole pines. Just devastated by the beetles. about uh, 40 miles or 35 from uh, Highway 40 that goes to Steamboat Springs. That's where I came from. There's Sheep Mountain came down and some of the thunderstorm activity still going on. I think that's Wyoming up there. It's rain there. Hey. And uh, there's some more here. I'm kind of surrounded. 
not as bad as it was at noon though. On a minor peak here. No bolts for me, huh? Son? I was going crazy a minute ago. Come on. Let me see it.